So another night, another electrical room. Got these two guys, got her doing complete controller replacements in both these. But another guy that uh, installed this one, and I just gotta say it's not his fault. For look at that carnage. For that happening. We blew our little resistor out there. What happened was that uh, you got sent with the wrong part. Even our parts guy didn't even know this, that he got sent out the wrong part, and this happened. And so now the A phase, it went boom, boom, focus. And it looked like the, yeah, mostly the A phase went boom, boom in the harness. So now we have to replace the switch because this, for this switch, the harness is obsolete. So uh, night shift work. So, seeing a few when I'm uh, digging into this. Actually, I'll see you when I'm digging into this one because it's more interesting. Wow, if you look really closely, you can see where, like, around the ground where it pulled up on the uh, laminations of the control board. Around that relay right there, that's pretty neat. And the big old shit stain. Okay, so I'm going to be covering like the 200 amp-ish switches and the uh, 600 amp switches, switching them from the M340 controller and the M, um, or the S340 controller. The S340 controller, you have to cut a hole in the door. But I'm going to stick with the M340 because this is what we're doing, same thing. For, so, already replaced controller, put the I.O. boards on there. So, first thing first the relay board. First thing you want to do is you want to take and you want to uh, write down where each wire went and how it's laid out for your reference and in the manual it'll say it right there on page 82 36 of the TP5994 so, you're just going to take that information, just, you know, keep it on in your back pocket. So, I'm going to cover what I did to this one first. You're going to take out that, that S, or the M340 controller, and basically you're going to clear the whole friggin' door, everything off the door. You're going to mount a plate to it that you could, it's this guy right here. And you're going to mount the I.O. board and the controller. If you need to run two I.O. boards, make sure you uh, change the dip switches to write, write polarity. Um, make sure that you have the harness going from the I.O. boards to the controller and plugged in on top. If you're, so this one, you to connect uh, to this old trans style transfer switch to the new controller, you need the dog bone, which is a little short hunk of harness. If you don't have that, you're going to make the controller, I shouldn't say you make, you probably will make the harness go boom, or boom, boom. And like that, or that first pin right there. Um, so moving on, no notice how I labeled what the IOs are, or the outputs are for this one. So, moving on, we're going to go over here. I'm going to not cover, double cover what I did over there. So, this top part, you're going to leave. The controller, that bottom port, you're going to take out. These two relays and that DIN rail, you're going to pull off it before you take it off it. Because you're going to reuse those. And you're going to just take that back board off and that board off. You're going to mount the plate to it. To the... Um, Sorry, you mount the plate to the door, which can just small, make a smaller hole for the Impact 1200 or 1500 controller. You're gonna lose this guy too, by the way. So, one of the first things, most this is the most important thing you gotta do on this thing because you can mess this up if you do it wrong. There's a couple wires in here, labeled 33. You have to remove both of them, and then you're gonna go to the new harness, which I have right here. 
and you're gonna have focus, please. You got CCN, then you got CCE. See how those contactors are labeled? Read the manual, and the manual will tell you exactly where to put these wires. Obviously, they're on the coil. But anyway, back to what I'm doing. You got the board, you got that uh, back plate on. You got the new Impact 1500 or 1200 controller on there with the I/O boards. Now what we're gonna do is mount that transform, these two transformers, and the, this little chunk of DIN rail onto it. Um, I haven't got it made up yet, but it should look like this. You got the DIN rail, then you got two spots for the transformers. Mount them like this, not like this because the heat from the bomb transformer will go to the top one and nuke it. Trust me, I know. So, basically that's it. Uh, program the controllers, program your IOs, double check all your connections, close the door, lock it, use all the locks to lock it up before you repower because if it goes boom, boom, it goes boom, boom. And you're gonna have a bad day if uh, the door is open when it does. So, whew. I kept on in these five minutes. You guys have a great night. Okay, when the door is stripped, it should look something like that. So, in a second, like, I'll be more making up this wiring. Okay, this is what I'm talking about here. Jumper 33 goes over to here. We're gonna, dis we're gonna disconnect that jumper, take it out, and then a lead going back to this, um, Take this jumper going over here, we're going to cut it out completely, get rid of it, it's not used. And then the new harness is going to attach to them. I got the adapter harness in, I didn't make a mistake. I didn't realize, uh, I, it's been a while since I've done one of these harnesses. But uh, yeah, that eliminates that board right there. And uh, connects those two relays. And you can see where I cut the wire right there. Um, and let's fix that now. Uh, that board does have two 12 volt relays on it if you're interested and you could steal them for truck stock kind of thing um, But yeah Basically at this point plug it in got to wire up the uh, the outputs and uh, Put power to this pig dum 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 Okay, I got this pig complete one of the big things is zip tie the wires away from that cr the edge because that eats wires and kills switches right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the switch, put it in an emergency, and uh, close the door on it, throw the breaker on it, and step out of the room. Well, hello everybody. It's about a day later. Um, sorry I didn't do like kind of like an end sequence to the the video showing that you know everything working fine. Just totally forgot about it. It was about three thirty in the morning and I was just done. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So the I mean I found a breaker on a on a panel outside the building that was tripped. Reset it. Probably some homeless. Uh, you know, screwing around with it, but you know, they do that, whatever. Um, got a reset and everything transferred over, no problem, and it all worked just fine. I mean, pretty anticlimactic, I know, but meh. Um, so that's about it, and uh, hope you guys have a great day. It's a pretty nice day for uh, for February, anyway. You guys, uh, see you next time.